All right, everybody wants to be a billionaire, but nobody wants to be an emotional billionaire first. I believe when we tap into our emotions, that is the frequency, the thought, the feeling behind creating a significant amount of abundance. But how do we do that? How do you become an emotional billionaire? Well, it's really pretty simple. But you have to understand that thoughts have a frequency. It's an energetic feeling in the thoughts. There's what we call the heaven realm, all one. When you feel connected to your brothers and sisters, every living organism on this planet, you look at a deer in the eyes and you know that you're connected to that living thing that's looking back at you. We have hell realms, and that is when you feel alone. The big thing to recognize is you want to live up here more. But to do that, you have to really create balance in the present moment. You don't want to be too far up here, but how do you be an emotional billionaire? It starts with recognizing that you may be at a place, my friend, where you are emotionally broke. You may be emotionally homeless. You may be sitting out on the porch in a, you know, I'm just using this story as an analogy, looking at your life like, wow, I am disheveled emotionally. Maybe your husband has been cheating on you over the past decade and you just found out. Maybe you um, just lost a job. Maybe you feel like there is no hope. Maybe somebody in your life has developed cancer or some other trial or tribulation that's holding you back from feeling like you are really owning this life experience. Whatever it is, how do you bounce back from that, that emotional poverty? Feeling like you're depressed, you're sad, you're unhappy, day to day, it takes all you can do to literally stand up out of bed and say, I got this day. An emotional billionaire jumps out of bed, opens up the blinds and says, I love my life. But how do you get to that point? It takes time, it takes diligence, it takes work, all of these things that not many people wanna invest in. If you're watching this video, I know you wanna invest in that. I've been investing in my emotional bank account over the past two decades. Every single day, it's been a literal war. It's been going to battle every single day, knowing that in the present moment, I have a decision to make. I can either make the decision to take money out of my emotional bank account and be stuck in poverty and lack, lack of supply, lack of abundance, or I can take those emotional dollar bills and I can put them in my emotional bank account and I can invest. The best way to do that is to, number one, invest in yourself. When's the last time you took time, an hour, hour and a half, thinking about how much you loved your life? Writing a gratitude list, writing a love list, writing a love letter to somebody else, which brings me to point number two. Take time investing in other people. If you want an emotional billionaire, if you really want to radically impact other people, you have to get outside of you and start thinking, how can I impact more people on a really deep level? What can I do day to day? Well, for me, what I love doing is I write, love writing notes of appreciation. I love calling somebody up at least once a day and acknowledging them for their greatness. I love speaking the future into somebody's life about what I see and the unlimited potential in them. Even if I don't know them that well, but I've met them a few times, I'll start speaking to them of what I see their potential inside of them could be created one day, someday from here. And that's a very powerful thing. So to become an emotional billionaire, we have to first invest in those thoughts. And it may feel defeating at first. You may say, like the affirmations, right? I am abundant. I am successful. I am happy. I am intelligent. I am this, I am that, and your subconscious mind says, hold up, wait a minute, I am not that. You're a joke, you're a failure, you're a disappointment, and that will keep you in that negative emotional bank account. Most people stay stuck in the negative. What I'm gonna ask you to do today is keep supplying that emotional bank account with those positive things, because there will come a point in your life where all of a sudden your subconscious is tired of putting its hand up and it says, all right, I'm listening. Sure enough, day by day, after it's done, after it's fed up, after you beat down your subconscious mind, you start to get positive. All of a sudden you have $1,000 of emotional positivity in your bank account, and then you have 2,000, and then you start to really invest. 
Now you're investing in yourself so much, you're going to seminars, you're going to Fit Life Live in the future, you're treating your body right, you're working out, you're drinking Organifi, you're doing all the things we talk about at Fit Life, all of a sudden, your interest starts to compound in your positive emotional bank account. And when that happens, my friend, your life starts to change radically. What does that look like? Who would you be? How would you walk? What would you see? Who would your friends be? What kind of job would you have? What would your relationship look like as an emotional billionaire? These are the questions that I want you to answer on this Mindset Monday, my friend, because once you start to answer those, you start feeling on that level. It starts pulling you into that emotional positivity. So tap into it. Start multiplying those emotional dollar bills and let me know how that starts to change your life because that's what's really exciting to me. Because when you're in that state, you make better decisions, not only for yourself, but for the people that you love. And not only for the people that you love, but for this planet. And the planet needs now more than ever emotional billionaires. Hopefully you enjoyed this Mindset Monday. I'm Drew Canoli. Give this video a big thumbs up. As always, remember, we're in this together, and I'll see you next time.